Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC and this is our 2022 Premium Goggle Buyer's Guide. All right, everyone, thank you for checking in. If you are shopping for goggles, we are here to help you out. We have our top picks for premium goggles. And we're gonna go through, we're gonna talk about each one of these. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm going to be brief. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna talk about the key features and what we like about each of these goggles, some of the drawbacks to each of these. We just wanna help steer you in a good direction to help decide which goggle might be best for you. But listen up, we've got a lot of really good content on these. We have our product spotlights where we talk about them in full detail. We also have verses where I take these premium goggles and I stack them against each other and then I pick a winner at the end of each video. And of course, we have a ton of rider reviews. So get out there, watch those videos, read those reviews. That's really gonna help you decide which goggle might be best for you. Now to get this started, first goggle that we have up, this is the Armega for 100%. So price on this, you're starting out from about 90 all the way up to about 120. And the Armega, I'm gonna say it right now, is probably one of my favorite looking goggles. I love the look of this thing. You've got a 50 millimeter strap, which some riders really like. Now they do offer this also with their hyperlens technology, which is there to help increase contrast, just give the rider better vision. But here's what we love about this goggle. It is super comfortable. You've got a good lens changing system. And when it comes to sweat management, this is a really good option because they've got really thick face foam and there's actually a gutter that goes along the outside of the frame. So if you're sweating a lot, it's there to help keep that sweat from dripping into the rider's eyes. It's a rock solid goggle. The only drawbacks to the Armega that we have is that with there being that thicker foam around the entire frame, when you put these on to us, it just feels like you can see more of the frame with a goggle and you're losing a little bit of that overall peripheral vision. Aside from that or that field of view, it is a rock solid goggle. Moving on from there, you have the View from Fox Racing. Another goggle that I spent a lot of time in. I'll say right now, the View is probably one of my all around favorite goggles. It's comfortable, I really like the fit. You've got great field of vision. The lens changing system on this goggle is great. The only drawback really that I have with the View is that price point for this goggle and just a standard clear lens, you start at about 120 Whereas with the Armega we just mentioned starts out about 90. So there's about a $30 price difference there. But aside from that, the view is rock solid. I've really, really liked this goggle. Next up, you have the Velocity 6.5 from Liat. So Liat came out with this goggle not too long ago. It was their first premium goggle. They did a great job. You've got your injection molded lens that's optically correct. The lens changing system, I'm gonna say, is just as good as the Fox View or the Armega. Now with their lens, what's cool about the 6.5 is that they actually have a dual pane lens and in between those, they have a permanent anti-fog coating. So when it comes to anti-fog, this is probably one of the best goggles that is up here. Like I said, the lens changing system is good. It's comfortable, not gonna be as wide or when you put these on, you're not gonna feel like it's as big as some of the other goggles, but the overall field of vision in these is pretty dang good and price wise, Pretty good there, you're for anywhere from 90 to about 110 bucks, so great price on the 6.5 as well. Now next up, you have the Scott Prospect Amplifier. This is the newest version in the Prospect lineup, and the amplifier lens, like we've talked about, is there to help increase the contrast to give you better vision, but also now they have an injection molded lens, which is great, because it's optically correct. In fact, all the goggles up here, they have an injection molded lens, which means it is optically correct. So when you look through it, it does not distort your vision. Now with the Prospect, very lightweight feeling goggle, one of our favorite face foams, very comfortable when you put it on. You've got that 50 millimeter strap. Personal preference, it's probably my favorite looking goggle. Doesn't matter what helmet you have with these on, they always just look really, really good. Now with the Prospect, the only negatives we have is that when I wear this goggle, depending on the helmet that I have on, sometimes I feel like it's pushing down and pinching on my nose a little bit, and the lens changing system, there is a lens lock system on here to help keep that lens in place, which is great as far as safety goes, but changing the lens is kind of a hassle when you compare it to some of the other lens changing systems that are on the table. But aside from that, Prospect is killer. Now up here in the front is what I like to call the sleeper goggle. This is the 509 Sinister MX6. 
A lot of people might not be too familiar with this goggle, but here's what we love about it. As far as fit and comfort goes, a lot of riders of all the goggles that are up here said that this was probably their favorite fitting goggle. Just the way it makes the contact around the face, it just fits really well. You get a good tight seal. The face one was really comfortable. Really, really good field of vision. You've got that injection molded lens. They even have the flow version, which I have on the table here, which actually has this frog skin vent up here on the top to help get some airflow going and help combat with fogging. Overall, this thing is killer. Price point, you're from 70 to about 100, so it's affordable. The only downside to this goggle is the lens changing system. Compared to all the goggles up here, even with the Prospect, it's just kind of a pain to get the lens out and to put it back in. Now, I'm being picky here with splitting hairs, but like I said, that's really the only downside is if they can make that lens changing system a little bit better. But aside from that, this thing is awesome. We have a rider here that wears this goggle. He has the yellow tinted lens option that he loves because he said it kind of brightens everything up, especially in low light conditions. So if you're looking for a goggle that not many people are wearing that is awesome, then the 519 Sinister MX-6 would be killer for that. Last but not least, we have the air brake from Oakley. And I gotta give it up to Oakley because this goggle of all these on the table has been around the longest and it's still one of the best in the game. When they came out with this, they came out with their plutonite injection molded lens that is optically correct. Everyone else has followed suit thereafter. Here's what we love about the air brake. As far as comfort goes, it is right up there with the 509. The shape of the frame is just so good so when you put it on, it rests against the face really well. You get a good tight seal. Also, Oakley's lenses, I don't think can be beat. When you look through an Oakley lens, whether it's just a clear lens or the prism lens, it is so clear and crisp. It just makes you feel like you just have the best vision when you put those on. Great field of view. And also the lens changing system is the best of all the goggles that are on the table today. If you like to change your lens often, whether you're just changing out for a different tint or taking it out to clean it, nothing is easier to take out and put back in than the air brake. Now the drawbacks, Price point, they start out about 120 bucks all the way up to 180, depending on the lens choice that you're going with. Also fogging, that really is the kryptonite of the air brake. They do fog pretty easily, easier than any of the goggles that are on the table. And that's because they use a really thick foam all the way around the, the frame, and it just doesn't let enough airflow come through. So when you're riding with these, if you stop, if you're hot and sweaty, you gotta take them off pretty quick before you start to fog up and get that condensation. We do have a mountain bike version of the air brake that has a much more porous mesh all the way around that you could try out. That gets a lot more airflow coming in. However, in dusty conditions, I feel like that mountain bike version would let a lot more dust actually get inside the goggle. But again, cannot beat the clarity of their lenses. Amazing fit, best lens changing system. And that does it for our 2022 Premium Goggle Buyer's Guide. After watching this, if you have one goggle that has kind of sparked your interest, but maybe you just can't decide, remember, we have the spotlights, we have the versus videos, read, write, reviews. There's a lot of great content to help you make that decision inside which one of these will be best for you. Questions or comments, leave those below. What goggle do you have now? What do you like? What do you dislike about it? Which one of these would you buy today if you could only choose one? Get that conversation started. To grab your next pair, it is simple. Click on the link in this video or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. As always, orders are 75 bucks ship free. And if you wanna always see the latest and greatest from our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and that will keep you up to date. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.